For generations, people have wondered if there is life on other planets. Over the years, scientists have developed many tools, hoping to find an answer once and for all, and they're making new discoveries all the time. Even though many people would argue that the lack of evidence is too great to be hopeful of anything, many scientists become more hopeful every day they'll soon find factual evidence. Some experts choose to stay positive no matter what, and they believe we could discover life on other planets in the next 5 to 10 years. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three discoveries that could prove that there are planets with intelligent life in our galaxy besides Earth. Scientists have delivered a bold suggestion about alien civilizations. In June 2020, astronomers Tom Westby and Christopher Consulis wrote a paper, The Astrobiological Weak and Strong Limits for Intelligent Life, which was published in the Astrophysical Journal. In this paper, they explained how to calculate the number of intelligent civilizations in the Milky Way using the Drake Equation. Dr. Frank Drake first wrote the Drake Equation in 1961. He wanted scientists to discuss what would need to be possible for there to be intelligent life on other planets. The Drake Equation depends on several variables, such as the number of stars that are old enough to host planets, and how many could actually possibly produce an ecosystem. Because of all the unknown factors, this equation, and any possible solution to the equation, shouldn't be taken as fact. Westby and Consulis discussed a large number of calculations to come up with different answers, but they ultimately settled on the number as 36, as the most likely number of civilizations to exist. It didn't take long for this to spread all over the internet. The paper has made people question why we don't send people out to find these planets, failing to realise that this number is only an educated hypothesis. The majority of the maths they did was based on assumption, most of which may not even be valid. The only actual evidence used was what we know about our own planet. They assumed that, similarly to our planet, other planets in the Milky Way probably have evolved over billions of years, and that this evolution could always produce an intelligent civilization like ours. Consulis has stated, assuming this is true, there should be a few dozen civilizations other than our own, at a minimum. They also made the assumption that the number of intelligent civilizations in the galaxy could be between 4 and 2,908, depending on how they run the numbers. This assumption has been questioned by many due to its large range, and the fact they didn't even consider the possibility that there might not be any other civilizations at all. However, many experts can appreciate this estimate, because, before this, the estimate was a great deal larger. Unfortunately, even if this number is true, these different life forms could be thousands of light years away, making them nearly impossible to detect with our current technology. Consulis also suggested that looking for intelligent life in the Milky Way does more for us than simply confirming the existence of life on other planets. The discoveries being made could teach us how life forms, and how long our civilization could potentially survive. If there are many other civilizations beyond Earth, scientists believe that ours could last a long time. On the other hand, if we are in fact alone in this galaxy, it could mean our civilization won't be long term. Consulis believes looking for these other civilizations is critical for protecting our own. Fast radio bursts. Fast radio bursts are fast pulses of radio waves. These bursts, often referred to as RFBs, were first discovered in 2007. Because RFBs happen so quickly, and often randomly, scientists still don't know much about them or where they come from. They can be seen millions of light years away because of how bright they are, and most scientists believe they may come from major catastrophic events such as colliding stars. The amount of energy these pulses emit in less than one second is more than the energy emitted from the sun in a whole century. FRBs have continued to puzzle scientists over the years. In 2016, scientists discovered repeating FRBs for the first time. There was no pattern to the burst, but instead they appeared at random times. 
However, since then, they've discovered that the bursts do in fact have a pattern and don't appear to be random at all. Scientists have used the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment radio telescope to try and learn more about these repeating FRBs. They analysed 38 bursts from 2018 to February 2020, and were able to find a pattern that repeated every 16 days. Some lasted up to 14 hours, which surprised the scientists since they expected they wouldn't last more than a few seconds. On April 28, 2020, astronomers discovered an FRB that originated in the Milky Way for the first time. The Canadian radio telescope didn't detect this burst directly, but it seems to have come from a magnetar 30,000 light years away. The unique thing about this particular FRB is that it emitted 1,000 times less energy than those seen in other galaxies. This finding brings up even more questions about FRBs. Scientists hope this discovery will help them learn where FRBs come from, and what powers them even outside of our galaxy. Scientists have come up with over 50 potential origins for FRB, but they're still not able to figure out for sure where they originate from. One idea is that the burst comes from two objects orbiting around each other. It's possible they could emit a burst when they get too close to one another. Another idea is that FRBs may come from neutron stars collapsing into a black hole. It's also possible there isn't one single source of FRBs. They could all come from different sources, for different reasons. However, scientists haven't been able to find any real evidence that could help them narrow down this list of possible origins. Could there be life on Kepler-22b? In 2009, scientists discovered a planet called Kepler-22b after obtaining data from the Kepler Space Telescope. This telescope looks for decreases in brightness, which occurs when a planet passes in front of a star. The event is known as a transit. They observed the first transit on May the 12th of that year, and then more data was provided by the Spitzer Space Telescope almost a year later. On December 15, 2010, the planet's third transit was recorded. Finally, after observing three transits, scientists confirmed its existence to the public on December 5, 2011. Kepler-22b was the first planet discovered that could potentially be inhabited by intelligent life. Located around 600 light-years away, Kepler-22b is twice as big as Earth, and they believe its temperature might be around 22 degrees Celsius. They also believe it could have water and life forms because it orbits within the Goldilocks zone around its host star, meaning the temperature should allow the planet to support water. The host star is similar to our Sun, but is slightly smaller. There's no proof of life on Kepler-22b yet, but many scientists are still debating this possibility. Most believe that with such a large potential of water on this planet, the likelihood that there's intelligent life on this planet is high. Even if the planet is almost all water, many scientists believe it could be inhabited by unique sea creatures, which would still be a significant discovery. There are some scientists, however, who say Kepler-22b isn't similar enough to Earth to come to this kind of conclusion. Astronomer Francesco Pepe estimates that Kepler-22b could be at least 14 times heavier than Earth, meaning the atmosphere would be nothing like ours. Because of this atmosphere, it's possible that it isn't inhabitable after all. Some scientists also believe that unlike Earth, Kepler-22b doesn't have any plate tectonics, which would provide important minerals and nutrients to ensure survival of any kind of life on the planet. Unfortunately, scientists still haven't discovered life on Kepler-22b, but many are extremely hopeful. The planet is continuously being studied, along with a large number of other potentially habitable planets. Some of these other planets being viewed are possibly even more likely to be inhabited by intelligent life than Kepler-22b. Just this year, scientists discovered another planet which could potentially hold life. It's close to the size of Earth, and it receives almost the same amount of light from its host star as Earth receives from the Sun, meaning it may have a similar temperature. Although this doesn't prove much yet, it provides scientists with even more hope of finding life on another planet. Are you convinced that there could be life in the Milky Way besides our own planet? 
Or do you think Earth is rarer in its ability to produce intelligent life? What do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.